dude let's bake some vegetation so let's go into unity here and i really do not like the way vs pro huh, did a lot of the terminology and the interface for baking it can get very confusing and uh you can mess some stuff up so uh this might be a little bit of a longer video but hopefully at the end you're going to have an idea of what's happening and this is one of the main reasons i wanted you to do a, a one hole or two holes that way if you lose something here you didn't lose a, a lot of your work so first of all before you proceed in any of this i re would recommend you do a full backup that way you can get back to this state okay so in the project that I've worked through with you guys, um, and yours might be just a, a tad different, we have three biomes, okay? Um, we've got my first biome, which we used in this case to create a, uh, we did a biome mask over here and we uh, applied that biome to that mask. And so this little area over here on the left is based on my first biome and it is done by rules planting. Okay, so we're gonna have to bake this stuff over here to turn it into persistent. Then we have another biome here called background trees. And, and if you recall, that was the one that I put way in the back here. It covers, it goes over my outer part of my inner, and it's really just the trees that all, they, they get billboarded because we're so far away. And uh, it is also planting by rules and it's still, and we need to, we need to bake that as well. And then we got this little area right here, which we did by hand. Okay, so the reason I'm, the perspective is so that we can see all three of these things at once and I can show you how baking works and troubleshooting baking and figuring out when some wacky stuff kind of happens, okay? So let's go, one thing to remember is uh, we talked about this in the theory, but if we come down here to our edit biomes and just remember that if we turn off enable runtime spawn when we're talking about rules-based planning remember that it just it hides those trees they're no, they're not gone they're just hidden because we're telling it hey do not spawn these trees do not show these trees and you can do that for everything but for my rules place my rules-based planting areas um every, everything runtime spawn is enabled so that's why we can see it so our rules-based planting all of our rocks our trees and everything have runtime spawn enabled that's irrelevant for the hand planted stuff because we're not spawning these we've planted them by hand they're persistent and they are essentially in that database with the asset and the location all right so remember that runtime spawn hides it or disables it so now let's go back up into our persistent vegetation storage area and we're going to go up here to bake vegetation and we've got a couple different options here when it comes to baking our vegetation and you can see let me go to our first biome biome one and as soon as we do that we see all the things that are in that biome and actually before we go to that if we go to stored vegetation we can see in here for my first biome i've got no instances in here okay which means that nothing from biome one is in persistent storage at this point right it's all rules based if i go to the second one i do have so that was the one i planned by hand so that makes sense so i've got all these uh, objects in here and i can see oh, i've got 15 rocks i got 58 of these i've got one tree right here and i got some of these you know, grasses and if i go to the third one again i didn't bake any of this so i got none of that in my persistent storage and if i disable my persistent storage here um just these the the hand planted stuff down here disappears and then up here at the top i've got some statistics on my persistent storage size so i've got 1.5 megabytes and it says item count 21,199. i'm not sure what that means it's definitely not the the amount of vegetation because we don't have that much i think it's just kind of like lines in the database but i don't pay much attention to this i, th I feel it's kind of erroneous um but we can see the the file size and it's pretty small right now so let's start to bake some of this stuff and, and show you some of the options. So if we go back to the bake tab, let's go back to our biome one and we have all our things here and I can do a couple of different things. I can bake vegetation item. So I can bake these things one at a time. So I could bake this rock, put it in persistent storage. I can do all these things one at a time. That's not really efficient, okay? Another option is I could bake all the items in this rule set and i don't like how it says rule set it should say biome like 
bake all of its agitation items from this biome, right? So I'm not sure why I call it rule set. I don't like that terminology. It should say biome. So I could click this and I could bake all vegetation from this rule set or this biome. Or I could bake all vegetation from all vegetation packages and biomes. So that would cover my first biome. My second biome, if there was something done by rule sets in there, and that's the main reason that we kept one specific for hand planting so we can keep these straight in our heads, right? And it would also bake this third one as well. That's the way I like to approach it. I just like to bake everything at once and get it over with and, and keep it really simple. <clears throat> so let's use this one. Bake all vegetation items from packages and biomes. And what I like to do, <clears throat> excuse me, when I do this is do a clear and bake. And again, this is another thing that I don't like about the VS Pro uh, terminology here is this gives you the impression that I'm gonna clear my entire uh, persistent vegetation storage including the stuff that I planted by hand. And you're thinking, oh, if I do a clear and bake, <clears throat> I'm gonna lose the stuff I planted by hand. That's not the case. There's a slight distinction in, in persistent vegetation storage is that a baked piece of vegetation is vegetation that has been converted from rules-based planting to persistent planting. That is baked. Things that are hand planted are really never baked. They're in persistent storage, but we don't consider, VS Pro does not consider that being baked. They're just hand planted, okay? So if you clear and bake here, you will not lose this hand planted stuff. And I like to do clear and bake every time because I like it, it you don't worry about getting your database filled up with double entries, okay? So clear and bake. And it's gonna run through everything. And when it's done, you're gonna think nothing happened because everything looks exactly the same. That's a good sign. So let me show you now what happened. So we took all of our biomes, we baked the vegetation and anything that was in a rule set. And if I come up here, back up here to store vegetation, you can see that my item count has definitely changed. Storage size really hasn't gone out that much. But if I look at my first biome, and I now see that I've got some counts here for biome one and for biome three wow 20,000 of those 24,000 so a lot of trees it seems really high but I guess it's possible I'm not sure if I put a much clout into these numbers um, and if I come up here and I disable persistent storage okay so that persistent storage database if I disable it look what happens everything is gone so that in my mind says, okay, all that stuff is now in persistent storage and I have a lot of confidence that this is working correctly. Um, now I'm gonna leave that disabled for now to show you what happened on the rule set side. We did not lose our biomes and our plant by rule set capabilities. They're still there, they're just disabled. So you remember early on, when we went into this edit biomes, let's go back into biome one, scroll down to these things and you can see now, VS Pro automatically disabled runtime spawn for them. That's why they're not showing up anymore. Now, if I go back and I turn this on, this conifer, you can see all the conifers, the rule-based planting conifers now show up again because I enabled runtime spawn. Now, if I were to come back up here and enable my persistent storage again, I'm double drawing my conifers. They're being double drawn, and that is going to be definitely a performance hit. I'm double drawing those trees. Okay, so let me turn persistent back off, and let me just go back here, and before I forget, turn that back on. This was just for illustrative purposes. Go back up here, and I'm always very prescriptive about this stuff so I don't forget. And this is where some of the troubleshooting, you got to make sure you're not double drawing trees. So if you're disabling enable stuff to, for troubleshooting purposes, make sure you're not double drawing your, your stuff, okay? So you can see that this all looks good. Now, let's say that you figure out that you don't like something here. You need to change some of your rules. You wanna switch this stuff around. No problem, you can do that. You can actually unbake. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, where is it? It is under edit stored, yes. Under stored vegetation, we now have the option down underneath here to do this clear all baked items, okay? And it doesn't say unbaked, but that's essentially what we're doing. 
And you got to be careful here because this is where you can get yourself into trouble and accidentally delete all your hand planted stuff. Remember, this stuff isn't baked, it's hand planted. Okay, so if I do, um, again, I can do things one by one using this clear instances and clear this selected package or this vegetation item one by one, but I like to work in bulk again. So if I hit this clear all items from the selected biome from storage, okay, it's going to clear everything from this biome from my persistence, everything, including anything I planted by hand. But remember, that's why I said avoid planting stuff by hand, okay, um, it, unless it's in your specific planting by hand biome, because it limits your chance of making a huge mistake like this. So I can do clear all baked items from the selected item. And if I do clear all baked items from all, it's just going to clear out the baked stuff, not the hand planted stuff. And I can get back to my normal uh, rules planting. So if I do this, I'm going to do clear all baked items. And I have an option here for enabling runtime spawn. So that's going to go not only clear it out of persistent storage, but it's going to enable the runtime spawn again. So I'll see them based on my rules based planting. Do that. And again, it's going to do some things here and it looks like nothing changed, but in fact it has. Okay. Now, if I disable my persistent storage, look what disappears. Only the stuff that I had hand planted, but everything else that's rules based is back again. So let me turn that back on. And if I come down here into my biomes, you can see that my enable runtime spawn is now turned back on again for all these items. And they are, have now been unbaked and we're using rules based planning and I can make changes again. I can move my biome around. I can add stuff, remove stuff, change the rules. And then when I'm done, come back up here again to persistent storage, go to bake vegetation, bake all vegetation from all biomes and mass. And I do like to do, although I technically cleared it, okay, I still like to clear and kind of level set everything again. So clear and bake. And again, it looks like nothing changed, but if I go back up here to stored vegetation and I disable it, everything disappears. So everything is baked properly, okay? Um, I would suggest you play with this. Don't be afraid to break it. I, I would encourage you to break it and then try to fix it, figure out what you did to break it, but just back everything up before you do this. And I'm sorry this was such a long lecture, but I'm just trying to get you guys uh, um, avoiding trouble for yourself, okay?